Good day, guys. Got this detector I did, and it was noisy. And I didn't think it was, but uh, the fellow showed me a video, and it was. And basically, I overlooked this, and I, I've actually started to fix it. And I said, "Well, I better make a video about it." But uh, if you could just ignore that there, which I've just done. Um, you remember how the front panels of these. Uh, it, the screw just goes through the plastic even though it's got a shield the screw thread doesn't touch the shield it goes straight into the box so it, the screw the screws are isolated there's no connection so you've got no shielding here so what I'm doing is I'm fixing this one up um, I started on there but you have a look there's, there's no other shielding on the front so I should have left that alone but uh, I'll show you how quick it is and easy it is to do and on the back of this as well uh, they have this is not my doing they've they've done this themselves I mean where it was made here but the thing is it's a very poor contact point just there it really needs to be where the screws go and take the paint off there because that's the clamp point so you got a lot of clamp points, but uh, it's done next to it, there. It should actually be done there, take the paint off. So I thought I'd just point that out because it is a bit of a noise producer. Anyway, I've got this little thing, um, the jank, jank life <laughs> something or other, and uh, three speed battery powered, uh, charge it through the back there, whatever. But anyway, I'll just um, do these and I'll show you what they should look like. I'll, I'll stick that there and I have to put the camera down, I think. Uh, it'll move away. Uh, yeah, because I've got to hold this steady. If I put it here, well, I can put it there, can't I? Hang on, I just could wiggle this around. There we go. Oops. <laughs> yeah, wiggle it around, all right. And it fell over on the mini tripod. Not very stable, but... Uh, Try it again. Okay. If I breathe on this thing, it'll fall over. But uh, this is the uh, uh, gadget I use. I don't know if you better see my hand will be in the way again. But uh, I'll do I'll do these ones here. So there's one I've just done, and isn't that nice? Looks like the top one. So what you want to do, you probably want to, if you want to be really pedantic, you do the whole lot. Uh, if you don't want to be pedantic, you can just do a couple. Because these detectors, um, can get noise on the outside the cable and that uh, onto the front panel. Yeah, give it, give it, just do all of them. I'd, I'd say do all of them. Uh, okay, and uh, wiggle over here. Feel like a dentist doing this. I'll get down here and do this because not that you can see it, but you can hear it. So one more on there. Some of them are very thick paint. Okay, I'll just turn this off. 
That one there, the actual uh, extrusion part was actually recessed down. So I had to get the paint right on the edge there. If you can see that. Otherwise, uh, it may not have been a good connection point. So they're all looking rather nice. And uh, I think I'll uh, definitely fix these up as well on the back. And we'll put it on the compression point. The important one to do is if I get this around the right way and make sure that's the back. Uh, the, the important one to do is this one here because that corresponds with that earth point there off the mylar strip. So that one there uh, is the important one to do. So we can uh, definitely... Uh, you fix that up so that one there yeah that one there so i'll just uh give this a bit of a treatment to get on three there we go some some electrician's gonna say oh but it's meant to be star grounded <laughs> Yeah, right. No. On these. On these, the more ground points, the better. The more contact. Even if you really want to get pedantic, you could actually machine the whole um, back and front of this down to aluminium or aluminium, however you want to say it. Yeah, see on this one here I'm doing, this one's high, that part of the extrusion there is high, and that part there is low. So, who knows what happens. Knowing a little bit about metals, I'm pretty sure these are not cut when they're hot, but they, they look like it. Uh, but yeah, for some reason, however they're cutting them, it's, it's uh, causing a, dif a difference in height. But anyway, no big deal. Yeah, this one's low as well. That one's high, and that one there is low. Yeah, so basically, I'll turn that off. So basically, uh, I'll talk that back up. Ooh, there we go. So, yeah, there we go. That's um, how it should be. And if you want to get really, really uh, technical about it, you could put a bit of uh, a dab of grease or silicon oil on all these because alum aluminum, aluminium, whatever, um, wants to um, oxidize straight away and turns into an oxide. You don't get a very good connection. So if you put something to exclude the oxygen uh, getting onto these points here, you have to do it by, actually you should, if you want to be really, really technical, you should do it, uh, mill that in some sort of <laughs> grease so that oxygen just cannot touch it anyway. But, uh, you know, I'm just talking about, it's just a very light surface oxi oxidization, but over time, you know, a bit of moisture gets in there, it'll make bad connections. And, uh, you know, the, it's right on the rubber ring seal, so. Is that an issue? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I, I keep um, finding this on all these detectors that the front panel is floating. Um, I don't understand that uh, because when I fix it up, I can definitely perceive a drop in EMI. So it's getting in on the whole front panel must be becoming a floating activation to the out, outer braid of the coil cable and or, or whatever's going I, I have no idea exactly what the mechanism is but uh, it's probably a lot of uh, capacitive coupling in the cable and uh, in the connector plug uh, but yeah it, it should be earthed it should be grounded so that's my opinion on that subject so yeah, I was wondering uh, 
if I have anything I could put on there that uh, is, uh, you know, not going to um, act as an insulator that uh, can probably, you know, I've got silicon oil, but that's, that, that, that'll dissipate. Um, oh, dear. Yeah, I've got silicon oil. Maybe, maybe some silicon oil. I think it lasts, I think it's one of these things that never ever biodegrades and goes away and, uh, you know, is technically probably some evil carcinogenic poison. No, it's not. Some of this stuff's food grade, so, yeah, I just think, just dab it around on the alloy, like so. I mean, I'm just being really, really a, a super perfectionist now, aren't I? Normally I wouldn't, uh, God, it's like, uh, like baby snot. Um, but, uh, there you go. So that will probably slow down or, or stop any uh, oxidation on those uh, bits there. Um, you know, you could put some lithium grease there or something, but yeah, that's all right. That'll fix its little red wagon. Um, also, uh, yeah, you could do some on, you could probably do some under that too, but I, I don't know if you're, you're gonna get moisture in there or, or there's gonna be any reactivity on this bit. Probably not. Um, so yeah, that there will definitely make a good connection all the way around. So if you do have funny EMI issues, uh, it could be a good idea to get onto your uh, detector front plates or whatever and just mill them down a little bit. Uh, like I say, that, that will work fine because, you know, we're not talking, this is not um, super high frequency stuff. You know, it's, it's low frequency. It's only, it's only tens of kilohertz. And uh, we are probably... Uh, you know, yeah, that, that spacing there, um, if I was doing radio work and that, uh, you know, on uh, normal communication equipment, it's sort of the same, similar sort of thing that these are low frequency, that uh, even when I was doing microwave stuff, I would be using beryllium uh, copper fingers and they would be spaced, oh God, what were they spaced? Like um, a couple of millimeters apart. Um, yeah, very, very eighth of an inch, a couple of millimetres odd, something like that. And it'd be touching all the way along like this. So nothing would get in, nothing get out. But, you know, if you're worried about this uh, having radio waves being picked up by the cable, right? This is possible if you're close enough to a transmitter. Uh, and it is a UHF or even a VHF transmitter. It can get into the detector, especially the way this was done. And then what I would do in that case, I would mill all the paint off. I just take it all straight down to alloy, and uh, you know that's probably the proper way of doing it. But I don't want to make a whole heap of uh, um, paint dust everywhere here. You you can run a file across it and do it. Just um, don't dig a big valley into it with a file. Uh, nice straight file, just straight across like so. Yeah, you can do it, and. Uh, probably be all right but yeah if you if you know anyone who's got a surface grinder <laughs> a bit better way just zip, 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 be perfect so that is the story with these um with the paint on the front and uh yep um a tentative go and a nerve connection on the back so obviously that does connect to this plate here on the inside but the plate on the front side Obviously, I'm not going to pick that up, but it just no connection there whatsoever. Uh, it just floats. So do that and make it a big sealed box. So any sort of stray RF or any uh, EMI uh, just doesn't get in and you don't have um, that problem. It's, anyone can do it. It's not hard. These Just pop these mylars off. You know, I think I've shown it in many video. Don't go and rip them out. Remember, they pull out vertically this way, like this. That's the way they move. And don't wiggle them around too much because you'll break the copper because it work hardens and snaps. So, 
there you go. That's enough of a video on that. But I just thought I just had this one that uh, the guy said, oh, it's noisy. So, um, yeah, I think uh, I fixed it. I can put it back together and test it. But I, I've, I'm have i pretty sure it'll cure it. It's cured every other one. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, catches, guys.